back-to-back, and then Golden State, the last mm-hmm. home game. And then Denver. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how much these games mean too much. Do you yes. rest some guys in here? I think, you, oh, you were speaking you early. You were speaking earlier about how the Kings have been taking a lot of threes lately, and like the lack of paint touches. Mm-hmm. I see that in Fox. He has been jacking yeah. threes he at an insane them, rate. Yeah, like I think it was the first Portland game. He went like zero for five. Yeah, and like I think he, dude, yeah, was, he's tired. He has to be tired. Cause like, I mean, you're not driving. You just take, you're get, you're bailing them out with yeah. a jump shot. I think that's totally fair. I, I, I think he should sit. At least the way he played in the fourth quarter against San Antonio was great. But then it's just like he was doing it again on both ends of the floor. Couldn't close the deal in regulation, and then he didn't really have. It seemed like the whole team was a little out of it, just yeah. based on the way they were playing on the offensive end. They got about the third seed locked up. If they win tonight, they clinch the Pacific Division for the first time since since 2003. Once you clinch it, I mean. We play New Orleans. It maybe play them against New Orleans. Sit them against Dallas. Maybe even sit them Sabonis and Fox the last game of the season. You like you said, you're not really playing for much other than extra wins at this point. Maybe you want to keep the guys fresh, but you're still like a week out until the next game. So I say you definitely have to sit them against Denver. You can't risk injury. And if you should. have it, if you have it locked up for sure, unless they like somehow. Have not <laughs> clinched the, 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 the Pacific. Next four. Yeah, so that's another thing. The Suns, I think, won all six of their games with Durant. Yeah. So it's just like I don't want to face the Suns in the first round. But on the notion of uh, taking a rest, I kind of think they should. But I just don't see that. I don't think they're going to do that. I think they will. I think they will against Denver if they've clinched it. I think the one thing is just or locked like, up the Pacific. I, if it would be, it would just be that one game. Yeah, um, I agree. It would just be the one. But I almost feel like just with that stretch before the playoffs start and the fact that it's like no experience and then it's like I don't see Domas or Fox being open to that idea. Yeah, Even though Fox probably does need it. I, I think, I, mean, I don't know, I'm looking at that Dallas game too, second of a back-to-back on the road. Rest them there too. That, that would probably be a good one. Rest them there. I, it, I, the fatigue's starting to show, I, especially in the, the three-point shooting. Mm-hmm. Um. And Fox didn't look that good against. No, he looked decent against San Antonio, but he yeah, sixteen points in the fourth. Yeah, point. you're right. So, but uh, again, like, what does that mean? <laughs> you can't bring it in overtime. Exactly. Um, and if we're talking about defense being the issue, and it is, mm-hmm. you definitely need uh, some freshness there. Yeah, so I could see them resting at least Denver for sure, but I'm not opposed to Dallas either. Like I said, you're not you're not really playing for much at this point, unless Phoenix. Besides, give Dallas one. Let's see what. Yeah, exactly. Is. 